Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 14th, okay? So this is right around the 14th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. Oh, okay, we'll just cut the deck. Justice reversed and the Four of Cups reversed. So justice reversed is an injustice, right? It's something not turning out as you had hoped or it's an argument with no resolution in sight. Um, could be a legal loss. It could be the end of a contract. The Four of Cups reversed is seizing a new opportunity, a missed opportunity. Justice reversed, there's been some sort of lies, uh, dishonesty, somebody may have been dishonest. Um, there's a lack of integrity here, a lack of truth, somebody may not have been telling the truth, maybe about their feelings or lying about something with justice reversed. Four of Cups reversed is seizing a new opportunity, taking an opportunity, a missed opportunity, or now interested in something else. Um, there's definitely been some dishonesty here. an injustice of some sort, an imbalance as well, unfair, this unfair treatment or something like that. But somebody has been lacking integrity, right? They haven't been telling the truth about something. Eight of Pentacles, first card out. Now the Eight of Pentacles is about work, okay? It's about putting in effort, creating something. Um, let's get another card. Fell out. King of Cups. So this is somebody that is working on their feelings, working on expressing their feelings. There's somebody here that's been working really, really hard to create something. Um, maybe it's to create create business or they've just been working a lot, you know, working on their job, just working, working, working. The King of Cups is generally very feeling, very expressive, looking for love, you know. We have somebody here that does have a big heart. Eight of Pentacles, that's putting in effort, putting in effort. King of Swords reverse, right next to the King of Cups, upright. So I'm wondering if somebody is really starting to feel something in their heart. Maybe they were cold and withdrawn or ignoring the truth. The King of Swords reverse, that's a lack of integrity about feelings, ignoring feelings. Somebody's been burying themselves in their work, ignoring their feelings. There's definitely dishonesty here. Mm, this it could even be dishonest work ethic. I mean, I don't know what's going on here. King of Swords reversed. Maybe somebody that was blocking their heart. Maybe they're opening their heart. They're putting in effort to express their feelings. There's been some sort of dishonesty. We already established that. Hmm. Five of Swords reversed. So the Five of Swords reversed. Maybe somebody that's just done. It's like I'm done fighting. I'm done with this conflict. I'm, I'm done with the emptiness. I just want to be happy. I got nothing left to prove. There's obviously been somebody here that's been wanting to prove something. Wanting to prove they're right. Wanting to prove that they didn't make a mistake. Wanting in their ego. But this is like... This may be like admitting defeat of some sort. I'm not sure. We're going to get another card, but this is some sort of, you know, I don't know if we have somebody here that's letting go of their ego. Uh, let's get another card. I feel like there's something that is being exposed as well. Oh, got chills. 
That's a yes answer when you get chills. So something may be being exposed. Maybe it's feelings. It's right next to the King of Cups. The truth. Somebody's been lying about their feelings. Woo! I would say that's another confirmation card right there. Okay, Page of Cups is about feelings. Okay, this is there could be a rejection. This is unrequited love. This is... Uh, bubble burst. Somebody may be getting their bubble burst. Uh, there's a lack of emotion, um, lack of feelings, or something like that. Next to the King of Swords reversed. Oh, it's emotional. We have something here that is, we have somebody here who is really in their feelings. They're really, really, really in their feelings, and there's some sort of power struggle. It, and this may have to do with letting go of power. You know, it's hard to, to admit defeat, you know. It's hard to listen to your heart. We have somebody here that's very distant, typically very distant, very protective, very hard. You know, this is somebody that doesn't typically follow their heart, you know. They're very, they do the most logical thing instead of the most you know, what their heart wants. So I feel like we have somebody here that's really in their feelings. Their heart wants something more. That would be the Four of Cups, okay? Really thinking about that other opportunity a lot, a lot. You have to act with integrity. That's what justice is about. And justice is a card of karma. Okay, it is. Karma sees straight through the situation. If you do not act with integrity, you will pay for it for the rest of your life. Even in the little things. You'll have setbacks. You won't have financial abundance. You'll lose people that you love. Your health won't be good. I mean, it will be one thing right after another if you don't act with integrity. The laws of karma will do justice by not letting you have the happy life, by not letting you succeed, by causing your vehicle to break down over and over and over again, by causing you to have to pay for this over and over and over again, by causing you to end up in the hospital over and over and over again. You know, karma will pay you back in multiple ways if you're not acting with integrity. Justice is a main karma card. It came out reversed. And that's about acting with integrity. You have, to, you have to do the right thing with your heart. Three of Wands. Three of Wands is a definite decision. The future looks bright. Pa bags packed, ready to go, focusing on the future. Somebody's been waiting. They've been waiting for the moment. The moment has arrived. It's time. There's either, there's, I feel like it's time. It's time to go. Three of Wands. The moment has arrived. There's some sort of emotions. It's extremely intense. It's extremely emotional. There's serious power struggle. Should I stay? Should I go? The threes are a definite decision. It's a time of growth. It's a time of expansion. This is what you've waited for. It's time to go. And I got chills again. <clears throat> Focusing on the future. It's in really thinking about the future. Four of Swords reverse. Now this is exhausted, fed up. Um, been thinking, taking a time out, thinking about everything, reflecting. Taking a time out to reflect and think about the future. So that's what somebody has been doing. But this is time's up. And I do see time's up because... There's a rejection here with the Page of Cups reverse. That is a rejection. Four of Swords reverse. It's time to... You can't wait anymore. It's next to the Three of Wands. It's time to wake up. It's time to live. 
Okay, it's time to live and focus on the future. Mm, Ace of Wands, new start, fresh start, new beginning, exciting. Action, take action. It's a time of action. It's a time of growth. This is a seed being planted. This is a spark. It's a desire. It's sudden, okay? A sudden vision, a sudden desire, a sudden new exciting path that is opening up, okay? This is exciting. So we do have a new spark, a new desire, um, a new flame, a sudden departure. Next to that, three of wands. Somebody has been sleeping. They haven't been very awakened. Next to the four of swords reversed, they've been, maybe they've go, been going through an awakening. You know, they've been just focusing on their work, ignoring an opportunity because we saw that four of cups at the beginning, but now they're, it's like they're really interested in that opportunity. There's definitely a desire. There's a spark. There's a attraction to it. There's a need to let go of ego, open your heart, listen to your heart, follow your heart. Somebody hasn't been listening to their heart and it's burning. There's something here that is burning. It's like there's a burning, maybe there's a heart burn. Anyhow, there's a burning desire to go in that new direction, right? I mean, that's what I see. This is a new spark, a new drive, a new desire, something sudden, right? I mean, that's what that is. Sudden desire for growth, right? It's been a dead end. Four of Swords is a dead end. It's the death of a situation. It is. Where there's no love, there's unrequited love. The four Page of Cups behind it, okay? In reversed. Somebody's been ignoring, King of Swords reversed. They've been ignoring their feelings, ignoring their heart, ignoring their gut, ignoring their intuition, you know, not being very smart, unfortunately. Control, you may have somebody here that has control issues next to that Five of Swords reversed. Having a hard time uh, accepting that they have to walk away. I mean, the Five of Swords is about walking away, it is. Having a hard time admitting that, you know, something didn't work out. That's ego. If you can't walk away, we all make mistakes. We all, every, everything is a trial. Every single relationship, every, every day is a trial, okay? You don't know unless you try. So if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. You gotta, whatever, whatever. You gotta, if you didn't, at least you learned from it, right? You need to swallow your pride. If it didn't work out, it didn't work out. Doesn't mean you need to stay just because you're in your ego. No, we were talking about ego a minute ago, weren't we? Or a second? Two seconds? Three seconds? Five seconds? The devil. The devil. That's a codependent situation that's not healthy. Somebody is tied to an unhealthy situation. But I put it right behind that three of wands. So that's leaving behind. Excellent. Excellent. Because the three of wands, then the devil. So that's leaving behind a unhealthy, toxic situation that was codependent, right? It, was, it brought some sort of instant gratification, but it ended real fast. You know, that's what instant, that's what the devil brings. It will bring you that that instant gratification. But then when it's over, it goes from, it goes from, whoop. Just like that, you know what I mean? It's an initial high down to a, a, to a way down low, right? That's exactly what that is, too. So somebody got themselves into a codependent situation that looked so good. It felt so good in the beginning, but now it's, now it's like, oh my God, how do I get out of this? How do I get out of this? 
They got themselves into a situation that they're struggling to get out of. And ego is the main culprit, okay? And fear. There's a need to break free. There's an opportunity for, I mean, with that Ace of Wands, there's an opportunity for freedom. There's an opportunity to start over from scratch. But you have to focus on the future. You have to commit yourself to the future. You have to let go of the dead end. You have to find a way to break free. You have to stop uh, ignoring your feelings. You have to honor your feelings. You have to act with integrity. You have to do the right thing. You have to put in effort to create the life that you want. If you aren't going to create the life that you want, then you can stay in the codependent situation where things are only going to get worse because that is the devil energy. If you don't have the mental intelligence or the mental strength to walk away from a uh, codependent situation, then you can, you're going to die in that situation. Somebody is turning their back. They're going to be walking away from a disaster. I mean, that devil is a disaster. It really is. Nine of Wands reversed right next to the devil card. So nine of wands reversed is giving up. Somebody has been holding on. They have been holding on to something that is obviously unhealthy, trying to prove, trying to prove something because of probably social pressure or something like that. Avoiding challenge as well. You may have somebody here that is sitting on a high horse that is very disagreeable, that doesn't want to... I feel like this is somebody that doesn't want people to know that they made a mistake. You know, they don't want people... It's embarrassing. Seven of Cups reverse, seeing clearly, making a clear choice, seeing clearly what the best choice is, giving up, giving up, giving up, giving up, because Nine of Wands reverse is giving up, reach, reach the point where there's no reason to hang on to this toxic situation. Something burns as well. There's burning here because there's a burning desire to go next to that Three of Wands. This is a dead end. They're, somebody here is sick and tired. They're frustrated. You know, they're frustrated with not being loved and taken care of, being ignored, seeing very clearly that this isn't healthy, this is toxic. Somebody may be challenged. They may be challenged to, you know, there could be a fight with the, with the Five of Swords, upright or reversed. And then the Nine of Wands is a challenge. So I feel like there is going to be a challenge here or somebody is very challenged right now. <laughs> Excuse me. Just have a dry cough. It's probably going to be here for a long time. Um, Eight of Pentacles. Working. Putting in effort, King of Cups, listening to the heart. Very emotional, extremely emotional, expressing feelings. We have somebody here that is very cold and distant that is really, really, really in their feelings. Okay, they are. They're focusing on the future. They're thinking about going somewhere. They're thinking about traveling or going or leaving. They're sick and tired of this life. They're sick and tired of just laying here. You know, that's the Four of Swords reverse. They're sick and tired of the stagnation. I feel like this is the end of stagnation. I got to be honest with the Four of Swords reverse. This is a new life, right? This is a new life. This is a new seed. This is something that will grow. It's very passionate. It is a time of growth. It's a very fertile time. We do have somebody here that has been avoiding challenge, but I feel like they, and they've been tied to something that is unhealthy, 
but they can see very clearly that this is not a good choice. I mean, because that's the seven of cups reverse. It's coming out of the shadow, which devil is ruled by the shadow. It's coming out of illusion. Seven of cups is a card of illusion. So this is like coming out of the shadow, seeing very, very clearly that it's time to give up this unhealthy habit or codependent such a person or obsession or whatever it is or control or give up the ego you know if we could we have letting go of ego a couple times here so somebody may be deciding to let go of their ego and walk away just got to do the right thing i mean we saw that with justice some but there is but justice was reversed so justice is reversed is lack of integrity right not doing the right thing not wanting to be held accountable. Somebody doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions, but karma sees everything. So they are being held accountable. They may not know it because maybe they're not very awakened. I mean, we do have the four of swords reverse. So maybe we have somebody here that is not very awakened. We may not, I mean, we may have somebody here that's not. They think that they can just do the things they're doing and they don't realize that all their setbacks are karmically related. They are. You will not get ahead to, if you continue deceiving and lying and not doing the right thing. You will not. You might for a little while. That's the devil energy, but it won't last. It will be short-lived. The devil is a fallen angel. You know, so it starts out all great, but then it goes to somebody's head, you know. Anyhow, on the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Cups. That's grieving. That's, that's crying over the spilled nut milk, crying over a loss, grieving over a loss. Um, maybe even anger. We may have, because I see that with the King of Swords. You may have somebody here that is angry. They're upset. They're, they're sad. They're really, really sad over a loss. They're really in their emotions. That's what the focus is. That's what's happening here. We have somebody here that is really wanting something more with that four of cups reverse we saw at the beginning but they can't but whoever this person is that wants more is not acting with integrity it's like they're not doing the right thing because they came out together it's like you have to act with integrity you have to eight of pentacles putting in effort to follow the heart to express feelings Somebody's really going to be there. Somebody's heart. This is heartfelt. You know, somebody's heart. They're really in their feelings. We have somebody here that is admitting their defeat, you know, or, you know, they're walking away from somebody that, that is unrequited love for something more desirable, something more passionate, something more exciting, something that will grow. So I feel like this is a day where somebody's going to, there's a, like increased effort here. The first card out is the Eight of Pentacles. That's working hard, putting in effort, King of Cups to express feelings, you know, follow the heart, opening the heart. Somebody's going to be opening their heart. There could even be a challenging conversation. We may have somebody here that has a hard time communicating their feelings. You know, they don't typically do that. This person is, is a lover, has a big heart, but they have a really hard time communicating. Maybe because they've been betrayed or they've been belittled or they've been put down or they haven't been ever loved before. You know, they don't know what love is, you know, so they're afraid. We definitely have protective energy here. But definitely sick and tired of the stagnation, sick and tired of not being taken care of. Seeing very, very clearly what the best option is. Seeing clearly that this is not healthy. I mean... I put it over in the future position, four of wands. Now this is a card of commitment. This is gathering, a get together. It could be a possible reunion. This is getting together, committing, committing to a new path, committing to a new foundation. Fours are about foundations. See the doves, this does have to do with love. This could be a new engagement, a new proposal, a new get together, a new commitment.
end of stagnation. This is the end of stagnation. I put it, I put it right next to that four of swords reversed. Four of swords upright is stagnation. It is. It's the end of stagnation. This is, built, this is creating happiness. It really is. This is getting together. This is, this is a commitment of some sort. Committing. Committing to something. Getting together. A get to, there could be a get together. There could be a reunion. Somebody may be getting together with somebody. There's been some sort of stagnation. This is, I feel like the stagnation is over. This is happiness. Um, I said one more card. You got to get one more now. And we're done. Mm. The star card. Wish fulfillment. This is what you asked for. This is a blessing. This is a blessing. This is unexpected help that has arrived or is arriving. This is what you asked for. This is a dream. This is a blessing. This is a wish granted. You must have faith. This is guaranteed success if you follow your heart. And I'm telling you right now, you may not believe me, but I followed my heart and I'm in a very abundant space right now. When you follow your heart, you honor the higher power's plan and everything else is provided. People don't get it though. They think they gotta lie and connive and steal to get the abundance. When and if they just acted in love, every, and believe it, you don't, a lot of people, it's, you gotta have faith. This is a card of faith, but people don't believe it. It's sad, but whatever. Anyhow, the star card is a card of wish fulfillment. This is what you asked for. This is committing, committing to your dreams, committing to your wishes. You have to go after your dreams, okay? You can't just sit there and do nothing like the Four of Swords and the Upright. It's time of action. This is an action card. It's time to take action to get your wish fulfillment. You have to create it. Somebody's wish is being granted. Their wish is, that is wish fulfilled. There could be a, even a change in residence with that Four of Wands. That's a home. Four of Wands is a very home card. It's about home. Happy home. Happy commitment. Happy marriage. Happy family. Happy life. This is a blessing. Now the star comes after the tower. Comes after the tower card. So that means that there's, there's an event. There's a false sense of security that has to crumble. It has to. It has to. You have to let go of the falseness. You have to let go of the lies to have your wish fulfillment, to have your dreams come true. We got some people that are so in so much fear and their ego has driven them in so such the wrong direction that they are not living their best lives. Seeing very, very clearly that this is unhealthy, this is toxic, this is codependent, it's time to go. There's going to be a new commitment here, a new commitment to dreams. Somebody's going to be committing to their dreams. They're going to be committing to their own wish fulfillment. And they're, they're getting what they asked for because the star card is a wish being granted. And it is next to the four of wands. That's happiness. That is, that is, it's a beautiful happiness with the star in the four of wands. It's absolutely beautiful. That's creating happiness. It's about getting what you deserve, reciprocation, equality. Somebody may be getting back on their feet. Receiving some help, receiving, you know, this is receiving what you deserve, getting what you deserve. That's what that Six of Pentacles is. Anyhow, I feel like this is a day of working hard to express the feelings that have been ignored. There's probably going to be a challenging conversation with somebody. There could even be some bad news. I just got to be honest. Somebody may be receiving some challenging information that, you know, sets them free from a 
somebody's control. I mean, the devil is control. There is control here. This is breaking free from control. Sudden desire to go. This is, this is like heaven. The star card is a card of heaven. Anyhow, last two cards out. Star card and the four of wands. That's guaranteed success. Guaranteed success if you commit yourself to following your heart, acting with integrity, and doing the right thing. If you don't, you got karma. The choice is yours. There's consequences for your choice, so be careful with it. Good luck.